Hi, it's Murphy Gray Hunter, and I want to show you what I got at Half Price Books. Okay, so I first of all, I got this cute little bag. Half Price Books. Okay, so the first book that I got was this one. This a Magical Celebrations Midsummer with Summer Solstice. This was $7.48. Now remember guys, I told y'all Half Price Books, sometimes you get books that are used, and sometimes you get them that are uh, brand new. That it would be my daughter Jazz. Jazz, say hi. Oh, hello, YouTube. Or she came to spend the night with me. People. And so we've been having a good time. Okay, so I got that one for $7.99. Next, that was a brand new book. Next book, Jazz. Then the next one I got was The Morgan. I went um, shopping, I believe, Friday night. This was $4.98. I went to go look for um, books on fairies. Um, so this one was $4.98, and this is um, Pagan Portals, The Morgan, Meeting the Great Queens. And um, this is a brand new book. Isn't that, I love the cover, it's so beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful cover? Jazz like, yeah, whatever. Okay, <laughs> so this one is The Fairy Oracle. Um, this one was $9.99 by Brian Froud. Um, I think I'm saying his name correctly. Um, now, okay, so these things come with cards. Sometimes when you go to Half Price Books, the ones that come with the cards, they keep locked behind a, um, a little glass case. Um, and those all had cards. There was, there was nothing for fairies there. But the reason why I got this is because I, um, this is, he's a really good author and he really does, um, I like to read anything that deals with this guy when it comes to fairies um, and so really I got this book because I wanted to see the pictures in here he talks about the, he shows the oracle card and his interpretation of the fairy itself and then he talks about he talks about the that particular fairy and so really I got it more for um, the education behind the actual fairies um, and he talks here about a gnome and so but Jazz just told me that I can get on Amazon and order the Oracle cards. So I'm like, yay, I'm going to look for that. So I got that one. And the next one I got is, this one was $4.99. And this one is the Fairy's Tarot. Again, this one did not come with cards. Um, but I got it because I wanted to read the uh, information behind it. And I wasn't sure if I was going to get this or not, um, but like I said, it was five bucks, so I went ahead and got it because I would hate to have asked my friend, my coven sister, if this, if she recommends this book and, and if she said yes, and then I have to go back and get it and it wouldn't be there. So I just, it was worth $5. I mean, so next one, mm -hmm. <clears throat> this one, um, is, um, Lord Loss. Now this one is a new. This one was uh, four forty nine. This is a child's book. I know. This is a youth book. A uh, young reader. Um, Jade is um, my eight year old. She loves to read, and she wanted a new series to read. But something that was scary um, because all the um, the goosebump books, none of those are scary enough for her. She likes Stephen King type of books. And so some of the Stephen King books are a little too overwhelming for her um, because who wants to sit there and read books that are 3,000 pages at her age? So she's going to read that. This is book one of a series. So this is what she's going to start reading. Then I got this one, Who's Who in Egyptian Mythology. This was $5.99. This is, all these are new books. Um, I got this because I'm teaching Jade um, Egyptian culture in homeschool. And because um, we study religion and culture, and for the next, um, probably until March, we're going to be studying Egyptian culture. And this just talks about um, who's who in Egyptian culture. And I have some other Egyptian books, but this kind of helps um, because, you know, I pick out, what I do is I pick out certain ones that I'm going to teach her about. And this coming week, we're going to the planetarium. We have a planetarium in Austin, well, in Cedar Park which is about 45 minutes from me. 
Um, and uh, well, probably not that far, maybe like half an hour from me. Um, and they have an exp uh, they have a um, an exhibit of Egyptian that so they have an Egyptian exhibit there. And I don't know if it's going to be there for forever or if it's part of the museum. I have no idea. So it's a planetarium slash museum. And um, we're going to go there this week so she can, um, we can see the Egyptian exhibit. Then I got this one for Jade also. This was $7.99. I took off the price already. This was a used book. This was a used book. They didn't have any other new ones. But this was a book that was recommended for me to buy Jade. Um, and um, hold on, Jade. I mean, Jazz, stop rushing me. Oh, she's holding have... she's holding the next book like come on <laughs> anyway so here if you guys have never seen this book before it's such a beautiful book um so like the little things i like this i like this whole concept you know i really jazz don't you think this would be cute like to do um like in one of the books of shadows like to do something yeah, like this pages, yes. like buy a scrapbook right or buy Stick you know or there. just yeah of uh, uh, like probably like my big book of shadows and then you can put like little envelopes, like cards like this in here. Make, um, cut out some parchment paper and just kind of do things like this. I think that's so super cute. And this is a mat. Oh my goodness, I can't do it. Jazz, help. I can't pick it up. There we go. She felt the stress. What is that? So, it's a map. Um, so anyway, got this book. This one's super, super cute. If you, if your kids are into fairies, or if you're into fairies yourself, this is a really cute book. Anyway, that was $7.99. My last book was this one, How to See Fairies. And this is also by Brian Proud. Look at that. And so, to my understanding from my source, that this guy is also a realm walker and he works with fairies. And this is his interpretation of what fairies look like. You know, they're all different types of fairies. Um, and so I guess each type looks completely different. And so I was really excited to find this. You know, it's not a lot of books on fairies that I found. I mean, I'm gonna continue looking, but um, I think the work in here, the, the photos in here are just beautiful. It's like a pop-up book, so you have like things, you know. My sis is supposed to be helping me with the pop-up stuff and she's on her phone. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Help me with the pop-up. No, not that one. The big one. Remember the big pop-up in here? Look how pretty that is. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you all that. Um, all right, that's all that I got, and this one was twelve forty-eight. And actually, this book I found the, the guy was I, um, I was asking her to show me where the fairies books were. They were all spread out. They're like this was in half price books. Um, this was in the children's department. This one was where you go and you find books on art. That's where this book was. And the other books were in um, the metaphysical area under where they have um, the tarot cards and healing. That's where they have these. No love. All right, guys. I just wanted to share. Oh, and last, last thing I got was bookmarks. These were 49 cents each. Super cute. This was Jade's and this one's Jade's. The other two are mine. Or actually the three are hers. The only one that's mine. Oh, it's so cute. It has a hummingbird. The only one I got was a book one. Yeah, I don't really know, but I know that one's mine for sure. All right, guys. Bye.